What is up guys? It's your girl Zai and I'm coming to you all with another video. Today I'm gonna get a little techie, show you some things that I do to free up space on my iPhone 7 Plus. I have tons of applications downloaded on my iPhone, some of which I don't even use anymore. So I'm gonna just show you some things that I've done to free up some space when I need extra space to record or to take photos, things of that sort. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos every week. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so I'm sure you have gone onto YouTube to search ways to free up storage on your iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus, whatever. Lo and behold, there are tons of videos on YouTube to show you how to free up storage on your iPhone. The issue is, I didn't want to spend days on top of days looking at tons of videos to help me save storage on my iPhone. So, I made one video with five tips to help you free up storage on your iPhone. Feel free to pause this video at any time during the segment to follow along with me so without further ado let's get on to the tips tip number five setting your message history okay guys so you're gonna go into settings scroll down until you see the messages tab then you're gonna click on messages scroll down until you see message history this tab will give you the option to either keep messages forever um 30 days or up to a year is really up to you just keep in mind if you decide to do 30 days and you've been doing forever it will delete your old messages and if you decide to keep your messages forever it does take up space on your iPhone so just keep that in mind guys tip number four clearing your Safari history and website data Okay guys, so go back into your settings, scroll all the way down, you're going to see a Safari tab. Click on that tab. It's going to take you to something called Clear History and Website Data tab. Click on that and you're going to clear your history and data. This will save you some space on your iPhone, I promise. Tip number three, deleting apps you no longer need. Okay guys, we're gonna do something that most people do when they run out of storage, which is deleting apps that we no longer need on our iPhone. So you're gonna hold the icon, it's gonna give you the option to delete the app, and I'm gonna show you again, hold the icon, delete app, it's gonna give you the option to cancel or delete, you'll hit delete, and then that's it. Tip number two, offload apps. Okay guys, so we're gonna do something called offloading apps. So go into your settings, scroll down, go into general, and then you're gonna go into iPhone storage. This is where you can see how much storage is being taken up and what apps you have on your phone already. So today I'm gonna be offloading Zillow. When you offload something, you don't completely delete it. You just delete some of the data on there and it keeps the important data that you need. So don't worry about that. You'll be able to reinstall it later on if you need to. So here I'm just offloading the app. It takes about a few seconds for it to offload and then you can move on to the next app all right so moving on to something called the highlight cover maker I don't use this app that often so I want to offload it for right now you're gonna go through the same process it takes about a few seconds to offload and then you are done as you can see here is a blue cloud with a blue arrow that gives you the option to reinstall the app later on if need be tip number one download Google Photos to free up space and delete old photos Okay, so if you're interested in downloading Google Photos, I did put a link in the description box. The channel is called Tech and Design. This guy will go very in depth and show you how to download Google Photos and how to set up your account. So if you're interested, go ahead and hit the link in the description box. Okay guys, so you've reached the end of this video. I hope these tips were very helpful. If you've reached the end, go ahead and comment storage down in the comment box so that I know that it's real. If you have any other videos that you would like me to do in regards to tech related videos, go ahead and let me know as well. I'd love to know. Um, I love to help you all the best that I can. Go ahead and hit the like button and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified when I release new videos. Most 
importantly, subscribe, guys. I'd love to build a YouTube family here on my channel. I enjoy talking with you guys, and I hope to see you next time. Peace out.